All, All right, right keep me go. in mind in the gate, waiting for informative for the Woodward Stakes. Uh, life is good. One to nine heavy favorite. I, I, the power play on the website, not a surprise there. See how he handles the slot. Here we go. Come on. There they go. And like always, he catches an absolute flyer out of the gate. And they came right off the rail. Yeah, got him right off. Well, look, it looks like a swamp down on that rail. Yeah, I don't blame him for that. There's There are no tracks that low. Well, keep no. me in mind, going to try it. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, listen, that's one of the reasons why he's tough to kind of get to early is because he does catch those flyers out of the gate most times. Uh, I remember the Whitney, we were standing right by the gate, and he just I was like, whoa, he's already three in front, you know, so <laughs> – the comfortable in hand looks just fine so far. Yeah, and the, his ears are are pricked very high. He looks very comfortable uh, on the slop right now. Doesn't seem like it's bothering him too much. Yeah, he looks he looks just fine. Uh, you know, just just nice and easy. They all look fine. Uh, I'm surprised they're this close to him, but boy, they are really going slow. He's not using that elite speed at all right now. Um, so we'll see. They're starting to get to him a little bit. I would imagine one little shake of the reins and he, he kind of kicks back clear and there he kind of goes. Mm -hmm. And, so, uh, law professor is going to take second here. Yep. So there's the one, two exact is in play. Now the yep. law professor, he's actually going to get challenged here. Yeah. Let's see law what happens. Professor's coming up to him and we'll see if life is good response here at the top of the stretch and the four is to make the move too. So we'll see what happens. Um, oh boy. This doesn't look okay. great. We're going to have a race on our hands, I think. Life is good. Starts to stretch back out a little bit, but he's under the whip. We're going to hit our one to exacta, I think. But yeah, we not are. Not what you wanted to see from Life is oh, Good, in my opinion. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. So he's going to get the win by, by what, what, a length and a half there. Uh, and then one, two, four, which was Mike Samich's try for this race. Um, well, okay. So if, yeah, you don't like what you see from life is good. If you're a supporter of life is good, you don't like that law professor challenged him like that. Um, if you were like me and you were looking to play against life is good in the breeders cup classic, well, his price just got worse, uh, even worse. So like, I mean, when I say play against, I don't want him anywhere in my exact to trifecta. I, that confirms it for me. Uh, I still don't want him, but, uh, I, at least price wise, it didn't help me. Yeah, no, it didn't. Uh, I, I'm, you know, again, we, we talk about, hey, it's one to nine and everybody throws a fit. Well, you just got three to one on that exacta. So that's that's good. I mean, and and you never really had to sweat it. Really, the only thing you, you had to sweat was the two might win the race at, at a point there. Uh, life is good. Yeah. Not fully extended or anything like that. But boy, they tapped him on the shoulder a few times today. Yeah, I think you're right. You're, you're a little worried if you're like, okay, maybe that's our, our alternative in the Classic. I, I rank the top 10 Breeders' Cup horses uh, for the Classic each week. He's been number two. I, I did not like that performance all that well, knowing what's going to have to be next for the source. He's, his stride seems shorter than uh, other horses at the classic level. Like if you watch when a, I mean, we're not, we're not even use flight line because it's the other world. They use an epicenter, use a Taba uh, Olympiad. When they get comfortable in the stretch and they start elongating their stride, he's still like quick and it almost looks like sprinty um, a little bit there. So uh, he's got a world of talent and how many grade ones is this for him now? You know, life is good, especially if you're the owners of life is good, but let us know what you think in the comments below uh, in the chat and YouTube show. Thanks for watching with us. We'll see you at the track. All right. I hate it. I should have said that beforehand guys. We're doing a live show. We're also doing reactions. So there's going to be a lot of that shit. So bear with yeah. us for those awkward moments. <laughs> um, um, boy. It didn't, he didn't look like he normally looks. And I, I was kind of got on, on the shows the week after the Whitney and said, ah, come on. He won the, he won the Whitney, he beat a good field. And it was a nice, it wasn't that nice of a track, blah, blah, blah. But here, I didn't think he looked great. It's funny. Cause all these things are true. And it was a paid workout. It was dull. It was wretched. And, and you know what? I played the straight exacta for $10. So that was pretty great. Like, you know, well, and we we ranted on $30. all of our platforms about that. You know, stop freaking out when there's a one to nine, and just do exactly what we just did. And 
you know, you make one to nine into three to one. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, yeah, look, I, I, I have been saying all week, I'm really excited to see him down the stretch. And oh boy, not, not sure. Good question here. I, I think I would go to the mile, honestly, after that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's no way you're beating flight line after that. You see that, you know, that you're not, fa- you're not being flight line in your plot, probably not beating epicenter and Taba. Who else am I forgetting? Olympiad? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Like maybe. So yeah. there's just too many things where you're not, it's not one horse you're 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 not going to be able to beat there. So whereas you go to the dirt mile, and then you go to the Pegasus, mm-hmm. try and win that again because is flight line going to show back up for the Pegasus that quickly? Probably not. Yeah, that's it. And Christopher's right. It's it's hard to go to the mile after he's done that after he's won all these Grade Ones this year. You kind of have to go to the Classic and give it a shot. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's, I, I was pretty disappointed because I've been kind of bullish on him thinking he can rebound, but I, you know, from that mile and quarter loss and come back and run a lot better the next time he tries it. But that, that did not look special today. Huge win for the connections, another grade one. So that's good. I mean, he says, I mean, the mile doesn't do anything for his value. I'm talking about what does he actually have a shot in hell of winning? Yeah. If I want to win a race at the Breeders' Cup with him and I go to the Dirt Mile, breeding-wise, absolutely. You go to the Classic with this horse because winning the Dirt Mile a second time does nothing for his stud value. And hell, getting eighth in the Classic is not going to do anything to his stud value. Take a shot. See what happens. At this point, that's the thing. It's like if you don't think he's going to win, even if he gets second, let's say, in the Classic, it's really not going to do anything significant for his stud value. Um, so, uh, yeah, at this point, it's more of just a, well, you probably try the classic because we already got that mile. So no big deal. So yeah, we'll see. I, it's, um, you know, it's a nice win. It's a grade one win. And he got another one under his belt, as you kind of mentioned, and he's been a fantastic course. He would be the number one horse in the land, if not for flight line, but yeah, in the classic, we've got some, some tough, tough horses uh, coming up to face him, even if flight line isn't there. So 